Hi, this is Dr. Dale Wagner, an exercise physiologist in the Health, Physical Education, Recreation Department at Utah State University. We're here today in the lab to do a body composition measurement using air displacement plethysmography. Um, it's better known or more commonly known as the bod pod. Um, it's a pretty uh, simple device. You'll see that it doesn't take a lot of uh, technician skill nor a lot of uh, client participation. It makes it easy to use. That's a huge advantage. Um, it is a laboratory method, uh, so we cannot just cart this, cart this device or, around with us. Um, and it's, it's, uh, as a laboratory method, it's, it's reasonably accurate, fairly accurate. It has similar accuracy to underwater weighing but a much easier procedure than underwater weighing. So as with any of our body composition methods, we get some preliminary information first. We've already collected that on our subject. That would be basic descriptive data like, um, like age and height. So we take that information, already enter it into the machine, and now we're ready for the test. So as you can see, Jen, our client, she's wearing minimal clothing with a swim cap. That's critically important to this measurement. The more clothing that you have on, anything that is compressible will, will create an air in the machine. So even hair, hair is, is compressible, so that's why we have our clients wear swim caps. Uh, we have them wear uh, tight-fitting clothing, that's really important. So for women, usually sports bra, um, spandex shorts, just like she is right now, um, that's the perfect, um, perfect clothing for this device. As part of our test, there's a self-calibration procedure. So what, what's really happening here is it's measuring the volume of the chamber while it's empty. And then if we put any object inside the chamber, like our calibration cylinder or a subject, that's gonna take up a certain amount of volume. And that's really what this device is measuring. It's measuring volume. If we know the person's mass, which we're going to measure on the scale, and we know their volume, then it's easy to figure out body density. Body density is just body mass divided by body volume. So we place our calibration chamber or our calibration cylinder inside the chamber. Okay, and now we're ready for our subject. And the first thing we're going to do is have our subject step on the scale. We're going to get her mass. That's going to be critically important for us to measure body density. And now we're ready for the bod pod test. And you can have a seat in there. And it's a simple measurement. We're just going to have our subject sit calmly in the chamber, breathe normally. We're going to close the door. The door is really only closed for about 20 seconds. And then uh, we open it up and get a second measurement, and that'll be it. Are you ready? Okay. So the Bob Pod works off of a pressure volume relationship. And we have a known pressure and a known volume in the chamber when the chamber is empty. And then, of course, once we put a subject or a person in the chamber, that's going to change the pressure and the volume within the chamber. And that's really um, how we're calculating the person's body volume. Doesn't take very long. Her first trial is already finished. So we're going to open up the door and do a second one. Good? You okay? Yep, I'm good. And we'll close the door for our repeat measurement. And this will be it. We can do a more sophisticated measurement that we sometimes do for research that includes what's called a thoracic gas volume measurement. If we put a little breathing tube inside the chamber, uh, we can have the subject breathe through the tube and then do a breathing maneuver. The purpose of this would be to measure the amount of air that is in her lungs. That will affect the person's body volume. We're not going to do that right now. We often just estimate that. There's a prediction formula that we can use based on the person's age and their height. 
uh, that, that will give us a prediction of their thoracic gas volume. But for research purposes, we would actually measure it. That's it. We're done with the test. And we can have the subject exit the chamber. Thanks.